Oh, I don't know, the horns right there? Oh, you're they're done. Running with the bull. Well, then what are you doing you're still sitting there? Oh, look, I'm at a safari and park. The nope. All right, guys, welcome back. So, and the, this one is going to be the five scariest animal encounter videos. And for me, I would prefer just small pets, right? I, I'm not trying to be around something big that I can't control. You know, you got people, oh yeah, I can cut. Nope, you're done, you're getting mauled up. So um, let's uh, let's jump to it. Number five. Nope, a bull? Mm -mm. It's a sunny day Look. in Penelope. Oh, the horns right there? there oh, you're done. Running with the bulls event happening. Nope. And as it continues to charge, it turns on a dime. Yeah, look, look at that. Oh, a car? Okay, first of all, you have a flat tire now. Great. Bro, look, look at that. Shred it out. Look at... Oh. There goes the reservoir of say, some sort. Mess with the bull and you get the horns. Uh, yeah, you're going to get horned up real quick. First of all, um, they... Number four. Um, so for whoever out there who's, you know, they're all... Of, uh, they... They're all about that stuff around being bulls. Um, you're nuts. Um, I'm gonna say um, high five to you because if you get you get shafted uh, by that, mm -mm, mm -mm, I don't got time. Nope. So that's a hospital bill right there. Nope. All right. Let's see what's next. This video is a believed rhino. to be taken at a safari park in Africa. A massive rhino blocks this car's path. Go around. Step on and go around it. It appears the rhino is mm. going to let the car pass. Well, don't just stand there. Oh, you are. But it turns out that is not the case. Yeah, you're up in this fool's territory. The rhino pops its ears forward. Oh, that's and like a attack charge the vehicle, but stops. It then circles the car. This rhino can weigh up to 3,000 pounds and can flip this car with ease. Well, then what are you doing? You're still sitting there. Oh, look, I'm at a safari and when it park. The driver nope. can finally get away. This happens. Panic. Oh. Oh, I guess they have Luckily, a certain the driver was all right. Oh, uh, because it's like a harmful or something like that. Charged him? I, first of all, I don't got time. No. Mm -mm. A creaking sound. Taken in Hearst, Ontario, Canada. This man is hunting with a bow and arrow. Can't. I would have a something on me, like AR-15, j just in case. You hear a creaking? Go for what this man was about to encounter. A bow and arrow is not going to protect him. Is it a bear? Well, out there, there's like bears and... Oh, He spots oh. the figure of a massive black bear in the Bro, distance. what are you doing? The man tries to stay still and stay off the main trail. He could smell you! Matter. The bear is approaching he him. smell you! <laughs> it's a tense standoff between him and the bear. And you have bow and arrow. Bro. And the man is not sure what is going to happen next. He readies his bow and arrow. What, you're in the f uh, up in his neck and he's gonna die? No, you're getting munched if you don't do anything. Mm -mm. Yeah. But it's too late as the bear charges at him. Yeah, he smells you. Quiet. Oh. Quiet. 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 Yeah, he didn't even know. <laughs> he. <Yeah. laughs> he <laughs> What? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I, like, hold on. You have, well, I like can arrow that you're supposed to shoot at him. Yeah, I think he just kind of freeze because I don't think certain people have been approached or attacked by a bear. I haven't. I'm still alive, you know. Thankfully, but knock on wood, right? Dang. Yeah, that, that's why. That, if I hunt out or whatever, I'm, I gotta have something other than a bow and arrow. I, I think if you actually shot a bow and arrow at the actual bear and you just kinda, he's like, bro, well, what is this? Get off of me. And now you're dead, probably. Hopefully you survived, but um, let's see what happened. Oh, he survived. Oh, he probably just got swiped. Ah, ah. I'd mob out too. Me. Miraculously, he is okay from the incident. Shot a long time ago. 
Scare me, that guy. Let's watch that again. Shot it a long time ago. Quiet. Quiet. you didn't even shoot it. It's kind of literally horrible to laugh. But it's oh, you see his claws. Me. I should have shot him a long time ago. Oh, you should have shot it a long time ago. As in, you seen it. His life. Oh which in the God. end is what matters most. Number two. So write down below on certain things uh, you've heard or you've actually experienced on what you should do if uh, you get approached by a bear or attacked by a bear. Cause um, I don't know, you get hit with that. You're, you're out cold and then he's just eating you alive. And yeah, nah. All right, let's hop to the next one. Oh! I'm surrounded oh. by gorillas. Gorri one. Are you out in the wild or what? Two. Yeah, because you got small ones and then you like you have the, the big Three, homie. Four, five. He's probably stalking you right now. And a silver bag. Oh, the silver. Mm -mm. This man is filming gorillas in Africa. He must have some sort of training dealing with the animals. <laughs> You bet As literally it. trees and branches are his only form of protection. And they can climb trees easy. He is extremely close to this family of gorillas. Probably too close for his own good. And in the distance, a massive silverback gorilla can Look be seen. Look at that. No. Just straight muscle. Just silverback gorillas cocky. are extremely protective of their families. As we are and too. when an unknown individual gets close, it's mm -hmm. a recipe for disaster. Yeah, it's a threat. The man continues to film. Clearly just looking to document this family of gorillas. For what? For fun? Oh, he's awake? Finally, the silverback the has big... had enough. Oh, that cool. Yeah, because he could probably smell oh, you. Uh, oh, charges. Uh, 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 uh. It's okay. It's okay. Cool. Ala cool. Ala cool. And the Rumingi. Modu Tala Duti. Is he alone? And the Rumingi. I don't think he's alone. A I think massive he has silverback charges at this man, but he maintains his composure, which likely saved his life. If you know what language he's speaking here, please translate in the comments. Yeah, please. I, I don't even know what he's saying. He's chilling though. That's what it seems like. He almost died. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, bet. Okay. I would have said, ah, 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 ah. I'm done. No. The gorilla could have ripped this man in half if it wasn't for these branches. Modu Tala Duti. Oh, he's smart. Oh my gosh. And the Mingi. Well, they TMB a tumble at you. But the cameraman's non aggressive response likely played a part in saving his life as well. No way. Moba, Mama Pata. I don't have time for that. I'm not trying to go into Africa to blow to blow tumble a gay. Low peak at now, I'm pee. See, I would have probably shaken, my pants. but unharmed that day. Mm -hmm. Little tumbler singing. I would have like, pissed and shaken what myself. his exit plan is from here. I almost just died. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, you got like a lot of a lot of people with sharks and stuff. Nope. Number one. All right, see what we got here. Oh, he's on a snow mobbing up. Snowy day on That's the Coral sick. Islands. Oh, that, that just looks and this so snowmobiler fun. and his friends have a fishing camp set up nearby. Um, oh, fish, food. Okay. It's nothing but barren snowy tundra as far as the eye can see. Are they in like Antarctica or Canada or some sort? So just mobbing. The snowmobiler speed forward. They thought they saw a bear nearby and are going to check the surrounding area. What is that in there? Their and then the figure of something big or, can be seen in the distance. Yeah. Oh, it's running. I'm I'm turning left or right. I'm I'll probably turn right away from where he's running. What's this guy doing? Oh, it's going towards. The snowmobiler passes the massive grizzly bear. Wait. But surprisingly, circles back around. What's this? I'm pretty sure you're like trained or something to do that. I think he's 
It appears as though they're trying to chase the bear out of the area. Oh, okay. Both it, snowmobilers get so very big. close to the bear. And then it can turn real quick. How intense would that be if it appears um, their plan to chase it away is working? It just stopped and ate until the soul. What? Oh! No! Let's watch that again. Full almost got swatted. So Look, well, watch this full paw. Look at that. The bear um, turns around, rearing its full size at the snowmobile. That's like 10 feet tall. It appears as though the bear uh, stands up and is about to swat the snowmobiler with bro. its claw. Look at that luckily, thing. Luckily, the snowmobiler slips right underneath Shit. the bear's arm. Just get swiped and you're, you're on but the that's ground. That's not the end of this encounter. It's not the end? They circle back again. Bro. I... I and see once what again, they're trying to do. The animal that almost ended this man's life. <laughs> the other snowmobiler appears to take the lead at this moment, oh, getting good. very close to the bear. Bro, what would happen if you ran out of gas? What have you ran out of Finally, it seems the plan has worked. Mm -mm. The bear is no longer on the offensive and appears to take off, running up the cliff seen in front of them. Oh my gosh. He, he wants more. So what options out there do you have for people who aren't exposed to that as much as in being out and about on the snow and you see a bear or like, I was about to say a lion. Really? There's no lions out there. Um, you know, just kind of just being out and about but like, okay, yeah. Uh, I want to try and have the bear away, which makes sense. But um, at your life, I'm like, no, you, you should just go somewhere else. It's kind of how I would see it. But um. the snowmobilers turn around and return back to camp. Securing the location so they can get back to fishing. This has been documented reality. It's awesome. So yeah, how they kind of had their spot out in the open, so you could see all around is genius. But um, yeah, that's no joke. I would have some kind of some kind of way I could protect myself if somehow you were at a gas and this was ah, I would shoot. I don't know. Dang. But I hope you guys. Uh, that out there have a, a great day 